An interesting thing about COVID and living through a pandemic is that you get to see what people are really made of. I'll give you an example. I was out at lunch, riding my bicycle, enjoying the day, when all of a sudden, I noticed that a man was following me in his car. He was trailing me. We stopped at a light, and he began to talk to me through the window, through the open window. He asked me my name, which I didn't oblige. He told me that I looked very nice and very attractive. And then the light turned green and we both took off. Well, of course you know what happened. We hit the next light together and we were able to continue the conversation. He was an attractive man and I thought, why not? So when he gave me his number, I took it. And then I gave him mine. And he asked, uh, when can I call you? And I said, right away. He said, you mean now you're on the bicycle? I said, yes, you can call me now. So of course, I was beginning to return to work from lunch when my phone rang. I picked it up and we began to conversate told me about himself, the fact that uh, he was downtown. And because of the pandemic, uh, the only time he got to get out the house was to do work. I told him a little bit about myself and we began to make arrangements. <laughs> when I asked, are you married? Is there someone in your life? And of course, the answer was yes. He had a wife, he had children, he had another life, but he still wanted to pursue me. So I thought about it and I told him that there are enough men in the world that I don't have to destroy someone else's life. I don't have to make another woman sad or angry or depressed. He looked at me as though I was being a little too dramatic but I meant what I said. I know how it is to be hurt, to be betrayed, <laughs> and to find out suddenly, unexpectedly. So I was polite. And uh, the minute I got off the phone, I blocked his number. <laughs>